was to see you. I had multiple boys and girls come up to me as I made my way down to Mrs. Mooney or Mrs. Bonds or the sixth grade pod, which is now the fifth grade pod. So before I start, just let me take a minute to look at you. Very, very grown up. I promise tonight I won't talk long. I told my mom, who's 91, that I was coming to speak to you tonight, and her advice was, do not speak long. They are ready to go have cookies and punch. So, I promise I will not speak in length. When the fifth grade team asked me to come and share some words with you tonight, my first thought was, oh my goodness, I am not a public speaker. You know, the last five years I've been enjoying grandbabies and taking care of my mom and doing a little teaching. And then I thought, well, I am a teacher. And I'm used to talking because I'm a teacher. So, I thought, let's get ready for a lesson. Are you ready? Okay. Thank you for sitting like a scholar. Thank you for having your hands in your lap. Nice job. Thank you for having your eyes up front because that tells me you're ready to listen. Let's begin. What I'm going to talk to you about tonight, I know you know. Take something that's important and move it to the front of your brain like a keepsake. And a keepsake, when we think of that, we think maybe it's a physical item that we keep and it reminds us of something that happened. But another kind of keepsake is a memory that you're holding in your brain that's important. So tonight, we are going to talk about four keepsakes.